Hey, what's up? This Cypher Sounds. Yo, what's going on? It's the old man Ebro, and I'm a Pisces. And this is your boy Rosenberg. And this is High 97. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. You're checking out hotnewhiphop.com. Dot com. Rosenberg. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, as the the, the kind of Jew in hip hop, mm. do you mm. kind of kind of kinda. Huh? Kinda, um, do you sometimes feel like a fly in milk? Do I feel like a fly in milk? That would be like a one like black a, thing in a large sea of white things. Yeah, it's more like do I feel like a speck of glue in, in, in mud? In mud? Oh, oh, I don't want to be mud. I whoa, yeah, 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 I would. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's it. Um, <laughs> yeah, well said. Um, no, no, I don't. I mean, there was a time. Uh, when hip hop felt much more exciting and foreign and like I was unique, mm -hmm. that time has passed. Okay. I think it's rather comfortable, sometimes and too that's, comfortable. That's only the rappers. Like in the industry, there's mad white people and Absolutely. Jewish, all types of people. Yeah, I mean, I will say I'm surprised that I, I, I became, I mean, I'm going to say it out loud, the most prominent white on air personality yeah. of all time in hip hop. Probably tall. I think it's that. I'm not doing that. That was the douchiest, arguably the douchiest <laughs> shit you've uh, ever that's done. That's an insider. What? I want it. What? What do you want? <laughs> that was real bad. See, that's the thing. That's the kind of stuff I can't get away with. Like, if someone else could say it, everyone's just be like, man, they talking that talk. When I said it, it's like, what an asshole. <laughs> Why would he even say that? I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, there are other people that are white and really important, but they weren't necessarily as known as the white boy. Damn. Bobby Condors, for example, is a legendary white DJ. Uh, no one even thinks of Bobby as white. It doesn't even count. I stick out like a sore thumb at times because my voice is so fucking nerdy. Yes. Um, well, but also, I don't. Also, you're doing commentary, and they're just playing music. Oh, you say commentator too. You you have said. Well, that. no, honestly, one of the reasons why you stand out also is because you have you're you're so into underground music, and your I think maybe your crates because you do DJ are probably more authentic than a lot of DJs. As far as hip now, you, uh, come on, talk uh, about uh, it. Talk <laughs> about it. I have to say, there's nothing more rewarding in this world than when, and I don't mean to be unprofessional, when a beautiful black woman talks about how authentic my crates are. That just <laughs> warms my heart. Um, no, uh, I, I care a lot about. Shut what up. What makes Sy. it authentic? Because it's underground and unheard music. No, because oh. I'm not sitting there. It's good underground. Sife, 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 sife. Let him get his. Let him let get him his thing. Let him do it. Let him do it. Sound. Sounds, sounds, sounds like, like hate. Oh my god! Can I just live <laughs> for a minute? You got the Rihanna Instagram. I had to sit there. I had to live through the Rihanna Instagram. There was like, I also like his friend Peter Rosenberg. Nah, I just let world. you get your love. But anyways, thank you. I mean, I, I I care a lot about I care a lot about music, and I enjoy doing it. And I'm blessed that for now, going on seven years, Ebro has given me the platform to play that music. Like there are not many DJs. And this is why when I said what I said earlier, being douchey about my prominence, the truth is it was a huge gift for me that I am one of the only DJs on a mainstream platform in the country who has no rules. I just play good music. I don't have to. Well, you can't play curse words. I cannot play curse words. And you can't take money. And I cannot take money. And I don't do either of those things. All right. Curse may have slipped here, not the other one uh, here or there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very lucky to get to do that. I watched the show. I liked it. I have to ask, though, is it at all scripted? No. You say X. I'm from Arkansas. Let me get a pass. Okay, because no, you're going to make fun of my frustrated. You got comfortable with us and <laughs> slipped into some hood shit. Oh, let me ask you something. Let me ask y'all something real quick, though. Uh, no, it is not scripted. No script. At all. No. Not at all scripted. However, it you, now you can re-ask the question and go, is everything that happened on the show authentic and a real moment that happened? 